So one of the things you need to realize when first setting up this tool is that it has a long time to boot up. It takes probably almost two minutes for it to get to the position where it can actually be talked to and communicate, communicated to. So you're going to see that fault light is flashing red and that should stay flashing red probably for a solid minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And you can't do anything with it while it's flashing. So you just have to be patient during setup process and every time you pull, plug it in or you turn off the power to it and it loses power, it's got to go through this process each and every time. So. While you're waiting for your map tool to connect, grab your quick start guide and there's two pieces of information we need to get. So right here and here are the two pieces of information you'll need later on down the road. So after you've waited your minute and a half, two minutes, that fault light should go away and you should see the Wi-Fi lights pulsing right there we just turned on and we just got access to it go ahead and go on your computer open up your Wi-Fi find your map tool from the brochure find out what its name is this is mine I'm gonna connect to this guy got put in the password uh, check yes if you look at your map tool right now you'll actually see that all three of the Wi-Fi lights are lit up oh okay so it, so we're connected to it now so now you're gonna uh, open your browser and go to this website uh, your choice of web browser can actually be an issue for this so I would try any of the three of Google Chrome Internet Explorer or you could try Microsoft Edge or even Mozilla Firefox um, whichever your preference is whatever you feel most comfortable I would try different ones certain ones work better than others and it seems to be different per computer so I would say try whichever ones you can so once you put in the password and you've gotten to this website to log in you're going to use the other set of credentials to log in to the actual device itself you'll only have to do this one time after that you actually won't have to log into it to use cct but this first initial time we need to log in here And you're going to click I agree. We're going to change the password. So this is the administrator password for the map tool itself, not the Wi-Fi. Uh, I personally like to put our default Metasys password. So if anybody needs to figure it out later, they can. and they don't have to reset everything. Oh, and we can put a new Wi-Fi password here as well. Uh, I do the same thing just to make it easier to remember. And now we wait. Another thing you gotta be wary about is the connect automatically when setting up this. You don't actually wanna check that box when you're setting it up since you're resetting some passwords and uh, Windows 10 can actually get a little confused. If you end up doing it, all you have to do is go into your settings and then go into network and internet, as I'll do here in a second. Then you're gonna go to Wi-Fi. And then uh, it's hard to see, but it's manage networks and you're going to click forget. So if you do run into that issue where you can't connect back to up to it, 
try making Windows forget the wireless network before you try to reconnect. All right, once you get back to here, then you can log back in with admin and then your new password that you created. And now we are inside the map tool. Looks like it's so right now we can actually see that I'm connected to a VMA controller right here. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything for us right now. Uh, what you want to do is actually go to settings, then backnet settings, and this backnet routing you want to turn on enable. If you don't turn that on, we can't actually scan the network from the SA bus. So once that's enabled, click save. Changes saved successfully. So now if we go into CCT, open that bad boy up. All right, once you're connected to your map tool and you're in CCT, the next step would be test to see if you can upload it. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're right here on the map 4.2 backnet router. Make sure that that circle is checked. You're not on Bluetooth or NXE even pass through. Uh, you're gonna wanna click on map 4.2 default and it should fill in these four right here with the IP address, UD port, and network number. Um, in older revisions of CCT, this map 4.2 button actually doesn't exist. So you might need to write down these numbers if you ever need to fill these in manually on an older version of CCT. So the next thing we're going to do is go to your network interface and choose your Wi-Fi card. Click Next. Then everything should look pretty familiar at this point to you. Wait for it to scan. And there we go. We're using our map tool. And we can see our one VAV that I'm hooked up to right now. Alright, that should be it. Bye.